there have been um, the, usually the reports come in you know over time mm -hmm. at, right after the election and then sometimes things come in you know months afterward there have been a few cases uh, where I've heard allegations I mean at this point we're just a few weeks out from the election um, I've heard of accusations of voter fraud in I believe it's Montgomery County Kansas um, but beyond that uh, I haven't heard of any but quite often the, the allegations and the documents will be assembled and someone will come in after the fact and say, well, this is what I observed. Uh, one of the other things that's interesting about voter fraud is most people, many people, don't know how you report it. I mean, if you went up to a man on the street or a person on the street and said, hey, you observed some, something suspicious going on at the polling place, what would you do about it? And he might say, well, I'd tell 911. Somebody else would say, I'd call the police. Someone else might say, I'd call the Secretary of State. Someone else might say, well, I'd uh, call my county attorney, the county attorney. So I think one problem is, is it's reporting is somewhat haphazard, and, and when I take office as Secretary of State, we'll be um, creating a, a website uh, location where if a person observes and wishes to report voter fraud, they can you know, attach PDFs of any documents they have and can, can write up a report of what they've uh, observed, they believe they observed. And um, the state of Georgia has already done this with their website, and I think that's a great idea, mm -hmm. because you want to give people um, you know, a, a one-stop reporting location where they can actually report something. Do you think that a voter fraud has a higher impact on Republican candidates than it does Democratic candidates? I mean, is it, is it more beneficial, I guess, to Democrats? Um, well, the Rizzo versus, Rizzo versus Royster case that I mentioned in, um, in, in North Kansas City in Missouri in the 2010 primary was a case of you know, voter fraud of one Democrat versus another Democrat. Mm -hmm. um, there are cases where Republicans have been the victims of voter fraud. I, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, um, John Fund's book, Stealing Elections, you know, talks about a lot of recent cases. Uh, he identi Many of the recent cases he identifies um, where there's an organization behind it. You know, ACORN is probably the most notorious organization recently that's been involved. But he points out that, you know, there are cases uh, of Republican voter fraud as well. So, you know, I think the bottom line is voter fraud's an issue that we should all be interested in stopping mm -hmm. because I don't think any Democrat or any Republican wants to win an election and have the cloud hanging over the result that, oh yeah, he won the election, but it was through fraud. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all have an interest in being able to say the winner was the winner, get over it, and let's all move on and accept that if you're on the losing side in that election, accept that the winner actually won. And it's, it's very hard to do when there are allegations of fraud. Mm -hmm. that cloud the results of an election. Sure. And during, uh, one last thing. During the campaign, you had mentioned, uh, I guess, one individual who um, was, I guess, uh, you believed was deceased but wasn't, you know, ended up being alive. It was, a, it was, it was his father. I guess, how do you uh, make sure that the, uh, the records that could potentially take someone off of the voting rolls right. are accurate so that people now, aren't now improperly actually, in, placed in that off? case, it wasn't someone who we believed was deceased. Uh, the example I gave during the, during the election cycle mm -hmm. was of a person who, according to the voter roll, Mm -hmm. was 108 years old and was still voting. And I gave that example as a case of where you would want to investigate. And as it turned out, the voter rolls had the person's wrong, wrong birth date. They had mm -hmm. the, actually, they, they had the birth date that was neither the father's nor the son's mm -hmm. birth date. But it was an error in the voter rolls. Mm -hmm. And my point is that voter rolls need to be cleaned up. Some of them are due to errors. Some of them are due to individuals who are, are actually deceased and shouldn't be, you know, should be removed from the voter rolls because they're deceased. But, but that was an example of an error.